Hey guys, it's Call Me Adam, and we are here live at 54 Below with Josh Grizzetti, who is making not only his 54 Below solo debut, but you are also making your Broadway debut in It Should Have Been You. I am. So welcome. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hey everybody, it's Adam, live and in person for you. Hey everybody, it's Adam, wonder who he'll interview, callmeadam.com. How did you come up with the show? Well, um, actually, uh, Playbill.com did this really great feature when I, uh, when we were in previews for It Should Have Been You mm -hmm. earlier this year um, that kind of got a lot of traction online and because uh, it, uh, it's kind of a nice little human interest story mm -hmm. <laughs> about mm -hmm. sort of my, my trajectory in show business, which mm -hmm. has been, you know, a roller coaster ride with a lot of ups and downs. And... Um, and it's, you know, it's a compelling story for a lot of young actors who mm -hmm. want to do this uh, professionally. So uh, we had this idea of, well, what if we took that, I that story mm -hmm. and just filled it with songs, many, many, many songs from shows that I've done over during that roller coaster ride, uh, and just made a night of it. Um, that's and so we talked to 54 Below about it, and they said, that's a great idea, so we're doing it. I could be happy, I could be sad, I could be good, or I could be bad. It all depends on... What's exciting you about making your 54 Below debut in the same year as you making your Broadway debut? I know. So many debuts. So many debuts. It's a year of debuts. And at my age. <laughs> um, uh, no, I'm, I'm excited about it. I, 54 Below is kind of, you know, it, it's Broadway's supper club. It it's, uh, it's where all the cool kids hang out. It's yeah. the fancy smancy place to be. So I feel <laughs> fancy smancy being here. So uh, I'm pretty excited to make my debut here. I'm not going to lie. That's awesome. Yeah. And if you could give people one reason why they should come see your show, Don't Bother I'm Here, what would that reason be? I would say the reason is I don't know why anyone would not want to look at this space for an hour. That's a good point. 60 minutes of just this nose. Just is, Do you have a good profile shot of this right now? Yes. Yes, we do. I don't know. I mean, I, I just sold at least 20 tickets at right least. there. Um, that, that should do it. But I don't know, people should come because I think they're going to enjoy just seeing the inside look at the, at the business from a young character actor's point of view, which is, I think, a story that is not told that often. Mm, you know, yes. all those damn ingenues and leading men. Eh, come <laughs> see the guy with the nose. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And my, my last question is, um, since you did mention that you've had a lot of ups and downs, what, what, is, what has been your highest moment so far and what has been your lowest moment? And how did you get through that low moment? Well, uh, I would say the highest moment would be right after college, I booked a TV series that only ran one season, but the difference between a failed Broadway show and a failed TV series is that a failed TV series can pay off college, <laughs> and a failed Broadway show nobody you know, remembers. Um, what was this series? The series was called The Knights of Prosperity. Okay. It was on ABC. Um, me and my mother watched it religiously. <laughs> But no one else did, oh. and so, <laughs> so it didn't last long. But uh, it was really funny, and uh, 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 and so I'd say that was probably the the, the highest point up until this year yes. when I made my Broadway debut with uh, "It Should Have Been You," yes. um, which was also pretty high <laughs> high point. Yeah. Um, working with David Hyde Pierce and Tyne Daly, yes. and these amazing, amazing yes. people, um, and Lisa Howard, and Lisa and Howard, and Harry Harris, uh, yes, everybody, Sierra, Sierra, Sierra Bongos, every, I mean, everybody. It's a ridiculous yeah. company, it's amazing. and one of the best entrances in Broadway history for me. Yes. So it was a great entrance to make a debut yeah. with. Like, there's just so many great things about it. Um, it's it's a tragedy that it's closing. No, yeah, yeah, this, know, but this is our final week. week. Yes. It's a week yeah, left. If you this week, if you see this video on time, August 9th, we close yes. August 9th. Come anytime. Um, uh, but it's been a great ride. So I'd say those two things are my highest point. And the lowest point, as that Playbill article sort of, you know, highlighted, mm -hmm. was uh, was uh, I was supposed to make my Broadway debut in 2009 mm -hmm. with a play, a Neil Simon play called Broadway Bound. Mm -hmm. um, I was playing Eugene, and it's a great role on a beautiful play with Laurie Metcalf and another oh. all-star cast. And uh, and then two weeks before we opened, financial catastrophe hit, and they closed the show. So oh, I never yeah. opened it, not even a single preview. Um, and so, but we were so close. Yes. We were starting tech rehearsals. We were like so close to, and so it felt, it felt pretty, pretty brutal yeah. at I, the time. How did you get through that? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> the theater gods somehow allowed me to survive that. They um, helped carry you on. They, they carried me on. Yeah. Dionysius, 
you know, he, he carried me. I don't know. Um, uh, you just get to, it's, that's the moment where you realize that thing that everybody tells you about in like college and stuff. If you can do anything else, you should go do it. Mm -hmm. I always thought that that meant like, you know, go if you if you if you're good with math, go be an accountant. But it, it's not. I found out then. <laughs> no, if you're a good actor, you're probably a smart person, and so you can do a lot of things. But can you sort of spiritually and emotionally handle leaving the business? Mm -hmm. And that I found out during that time, the answer was no. So uh, come hell or high water, I'm still here. That's, don't bother. That's right. I'm don't here. bother. I'm here. <laughs> so come see him. Come see Josh's show September 23rd and 24th, 7 p.m. at 54 Below. Please. He'll get the dirt and the scoop and the story for he happens to be in the know. Just ask anybody who's had him at all the place for the business of show. Call me Adam.com.